might get mad that I'm recording them or they might say, oh, I don't want to be recorded. But, you know, and since so that's technically, I, I guess it's not considered a public place because it's a company. So I guess it'd be like privately, private property, you could say. So you're probably not allowed to record there anyhow. But, I don't know, maybe I'll ask them. But yeah, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to go there, give them my paperwork. You know, they're going to scale the truck, see how much it weighs. And then I'm going to get loaded. And then basically use the tarp machine to put the tarp on the load. And then after that, I'm going to secure the tarp down. And secure the load with straps, you know. And uh, that's it. And all that probably would take an hour, an hour and a half, depends how fast they are. Or we got a waiting line or whatnot. You never know. But yeah, that's what's about to go down. After that, I'll basically go get diesel. I'm going to drive to Nacogdoches, Texas. To the TA. And uh, get some diesel. And start heading to Fort Smith, Arkansas. miles away so my next footage will probably just be somewhere when I get out near Oklahoma I'll probably start the camera uh, turn the camera back on or I'm getting closer to the mountains something to eat always oh, breakfast time there probably won't be no lunch uh, man that's a shame because uh the dorito casserole man be pretty good if you ever stop at the ca at the uh in Nacogdoches, try the dorito casserole if you're there around the time they're actually selling it which may be the evening or it could be lunch time I'm not sure I think I bought it in the evening before I'm not quite sure about lunch never really been there around that time oh man be a long day man hopefully I can get a good parking spot in Arkansas because I'm pretty sure they're gonna let's say send me in Oklahoma to pick up a load pretty sure they're gonna have me pick up a load in, in Arkansas and from there I'm not quite sure what will happen they may have me take it to Texas somewhere but then, what, let's see, let's say that'll be tomorrow. Let's say I pick up the load today. Then, I'll 
take it to Texas somewhere tomorrow. And it'll be Wednesday. And from there, I'm not sure. Maybe they'll give me a load all the way back to Arkansas or Oklahoma and then I'll come back. Maybe I'll just do three loads this week. It's hard to say because of Memorial Day, this is the first week that we didn't work on Monday. Well, I mean, I technically worked because of I had to go do the BPM and the the inspection DOT stuff on the truck and trailer yesterday, which took five hours. But I'm not quite sure because I never started driving on a Tuesday like this. Just have to see. Probably might get a little under 1,500 miles this week, I'm thinking. Unless we work a longer day on a Friday. It don't really matter to me, though. I, I don't mind having a short week. feels a little better than having a long week. <laughs> I remember one day, dude. So I used to work the night shift as a truck driver too for like four months. And uh, that messed me up to where I never could tell what day it was. Because in my opinion, it was just like the sun comes up, the sun goes down. You know, I'm still in the truck driving, whatever. You know, it don't matter what day it is. All I gotta do is just wake up and do my job, you know? And, uh, so you know you don't really know what day it is because you're working between the days. You know you you work Thursday night and Friday morning, so you're working between days, and so you don't really pay much attention to what day it is. So I had thought it was Friday, and I went home early, <laughs> and I had to turn my phone off because I don't get real good signal where I live in the country, and they called me next morning thinking that I quit I was like what are y'all talking about they're like they're like uh they're like just leave the the keys in the truck for us if you're gonna quit I'm like what are you talking about I never said I was gonna quit and then I I really thought it was Friday dude and so what I ended up having to do I had to go work that Friday to go pick up a load but it wasn't too bad this is going to be connected to some type of bridge is that going to be a toll road wonder what that's going to be That's not a truck stop. I thought it was. There's some 
truck stops up here that are like that too. Yes, sir. We'll go ahead and get in the left lane. So we're about to turn in about two miles. Is this city, somebody tell me in the YouTube comments, is this city pronounced Dibal or Dibble? <laughs> I don't know. It's spelled D I B O L L. Dibal, Texas or Dibble, Texas? Dibal, Dibble. A lot of people say, I've heard people say Dibal and Dibble. But, I mean, there's no A in it, so I don't know how they get die ball. But, I don't know. But I guess we, the O kind of, you could say, sounds like that. I don't know, dude. I've, <laughs> I just recently started coming here a month ago, so I'm not sure, dude. I need to, you know what I need to do next time I stop here and go to the gas